Hello, this is Dr. Tom Groover from Superior, Colorado. And this is Nicole Johnston from Aurora, Colorado. And we are from Coloradans for Community Rights. The Coloradans for Community Rights organization is campaign committee for the Colorado Community Rights Amendment. Uh, what we have is a time in history where state preemption is uh, causing harms to communities all over the country. And here in Colorado, we're seeing that express itself in many forms. And so we want to amend the state constitution to give local communities the right to local self-government. What that means is a de democratic way of, of making decisions where we can encode in law our values for clean air, clean water, freedom from chemical trespass, the right to local self-government, and we can recognize the rights of nature to exist and flourish. We can also ban harmful corporate projects which violate those rights. Thank you. Well, the reason I got involved in the Coloradans for Community Rights, and specifically the Community Rights Amendment was I live in Aurora and several years ago, two, two and a half years ago, an oil and gas company submitted up to 20 sites for oil and gas development. It was 500 feet from our playgrounds, from our neighborhoods, close to our schools. And I was really concerned and wanted to, to do something about it as a citizen. So I did what uh, us citizens are supposed to do in the political process is I contacted my local officials within the city council and they told me that their hands were tied, that this was a regulatory issue, not a city issue. And if indeed they would take action on it, that they were confident they would swiftly be sued as other communities throughout Colorado have been. I was frustrated with this, this answer, but I took my my efforts to the regulatory officials with the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission. I participated in the stakeholder meetings. I contacted the governor's office as he organized these efforts. And I was told by the regulatory authorities that this was the law, that this is a state issue, and that there wasn't going to be any change unless I could go to, through the legislative process. I took my efforts to the legislative process, contacted my legislators, and I was told what I pretty much knew from the beginning, that, that no change, no progress would be made for community rights if the oil and gas industry did not support it. Right. Why do you yes. think this is important for everyone to become involved? Well, I think it's really important because there's been this movement toward the, the rights of corporation, even the term corporate personhood, and the claims that the corporations have protections. And this is something that everyone should be involved in because we need our rights. Our communities need to have their rights recognized. And this is not just about oil and gas. So I think it's important that Many different issues are addressed in this, and it's democracy. It's, it's participating by trying to get this community rights amendment passed. It can be today about oil and gas development. It could also be about the living wage. It could be about mining issues, GMOs, different LGBT issues. The, the whole structure of it underneath, underneath it is based on the premise that we need our community rights recognized. And as citizens, we need to get involved and we need to do more than just voting. So we're asking for help to get the community rights amendment on the ballot this November. Yes, if you would like to give your communities a recognition of their rights to local self-government, then go to coloradansforcommunityrights.org and there you can help with the petitioning campaign that's currently going on. Uh, you can volunteer, you can donate money to help us with our campaign. And of course, you can find out more about us there by going to that website. And I would just like to say, we need petitioners. It's a simple 20 minute petition training. 
And we have lots of events that we go to. It's a great group of people participating in our democracy. So please go to coloradansforcommunityrights.org. Thank you. Thanks.